and today is going to be a challenge because I do not have a computer. So I am going to try to pull up the video on my iPad and see how it goes. So if I miss any of your comments, uh, please don't be offended. I just do not have a computer today. So I, um, I traded in for one with more storage because currently we're working on live wires for the win, the elimination challenge, and it's plugging up my computer. So I had to upgrade to another computer. I'm just gonna pull up the video here so we have, hi Amber, you're here, that's awesome. So I have you pulled up on my iPad. I should be able to see the um, comments here. So let me just put that in front of me. So I have everything here. I don't know if I'm gonna actually be able to type anything, but that's okay, no problem. And, but I do see you there, so that's fantastic. So I'm gonna look back and forth. And today we are doing Taurus. So we're hacking our own way through all of the um, zodiacs we've done quite a few I think I've done like seven by now there I'm gonna list them in the description of the video the ones I've already done with links to them as well last week Amanda requested Taurus so we are doing Taurus today and then I also just want to show you something else that I've been working on uh, if you guys follow my tip Tuesday tutorials you know that I every Tuesday do uh, tutorials that should teach you know new new techniques and new tricks and gadgets and stuff so this week I was using the artistic wire a really big jig kit so let me know in the comments if you saw that video I'll link it up as well and so I did some uh, templates for the flower and the butterfly and what you do is you just take this ginormous ginormous jig and um, and put the pegs in there. We have 50 pegs in a bag for the jig. And then I made the butterfly and the flower. So I will link that up below. And without any further ado, I'm gonna flip the screen and we're gonna work on Taurus. Great video, thanks Amber. And Amber, I know you're tight for time, so don't worry if you have to check out at any time. I think we're gonna be good today. So here we go. So let's flip the screen. There's my nice outside. Here's my table. I'm very sorry. I'm on my iPad, iPod again for filming. It's not the best quality, but at least uh, it's better than nothing, right? So, because I don't have a computer until later today or tomorrow. So there we go. There are my sketches for Taurus. Uh, so let's have a look at what we're thinking about doing today. I have the just the basic bull head. I've done that as a ring before. I'll link that up below. I was thinking it'd be fun to do with something flat. And then also um, just some like a bull's head. This was funny. It was sort of based on some something I saw uh, from, I think it was from a video game or something. I'm not sure what it was. Anyways, it was an image of a girl with horns in her head. And I thought it was super cute. So I put my own spin on it, working on that. And then this one, oh my goodness, I've done all the arrows and everything to try to figure out the direction of my line. So this I do a lot where I just do all the little like arrows to show what direction the wire is going to go. So I think I might start with that one uh, or I could start with the easy one. And then I also have just like a silhouette of the bowl. So we're going to work on all those here today. And we have Ginger. Hi, Ginger. And hi, Sharon. Fantastic. So let's get some tools and just get started. That's just um, the best way to go is just... Start by starting, I gotta make sure I have my cutters. There we go, and away we go. So I don't think I can type in the comments today, but I can see your comments, so that's great. And why don't we just start, let's just start with a super easy one to do the Taurus. Now I've done a ring like that before, so we can go ahead and maybe just do a similar ring would be good. So I'm gonna get some 18 gauge wire. I think I have a little bit of gold 18 gauge left. I am really low on wire, so uh, Beadalon's gonna send me some more artistic wire because I they sent me a whole bunch of 18 and 20 gauge and I'm almost out. So I definitely need some more wire to do some samples and stuff. So, and hi Paula, Paula's hopping on, Amanda's here. Amanda, I'm doing Taurus for you today. And um, T-P-O-T uh, uh, says cool beans, awesome. Cool, nice, and Connie, hi Connie. And hopefully I've said hello to everybody. That's fantastic. So let's get some 18 gauge wire and just do a very simple Taurus ring. So I'm gonna just take that 
uh, out of the way, uh, take some wire, and then we're just going to start, this is going to be my warm up, just to do a very basic ring. So we're just going to take some wire, I'm going to take a good piece because I'll probably use the same wire for the band, and we'll just give it a little cut. And the idea for this one would just be to do like the little, the little uh, head and then the horn. So I'm going to use my six step looping pliers, the beadsmith pliers. I love these pliers, they're awesome. And I am going to just do this, make the circle. So we're going to bring this around. We don't want too much on one side because actually I could just bring this one around. So we're going to bring this one right around. Depends on how big you want your torus sign, so it doesn't have to be super big. If you want a little smaller, just use the next size down. Um, I don't think that's the next size down, but that's okay. We're going to use this one, and then we want to bring these uh, horns up. So let's just take this, bring this one around, and we're just going to bring the horns up. So we're going to bring it up here, and then bring it over here and up there. And we're going to have to definitely file these. This might be a little bit big, but that's okay. It's fine. So then we're going to take this one and bring it out. And then on this side too, we're just going to take that one and bring it out. So that would be sort of your basic shape for the Taurus. Very simplified, very stylized. And then we're going to give it a little bit of a clip. So let's just cut that at whatever size you want. So we're just going to give it a little cut. And then we're just going to give this one a little cut here. And then I have my burr tool. I have a manual one. Some people have the little bits that go in the Dremel, but this is just like, it's like a little file, but you just put the end of the wire in there and you kind of rotate it around to soften up the edge. So if you have a Dremel, you can get these bits to go in your Dremel, or if you don't have a Dremel, you can get a manual one and Beadalon also makes an electric one that you can put the little bits in the end so and they come in different sizes too. So let's just go ahead and do that. I'm not going to be too fussy about it and then we can do the band for the ring and so for the band we would just get our this is an awesome mandrel I love this with the steps so these areas are all the same size so if you want to do a wide ring it's really nice so what I'm going to do is just take this bring it around. We're just going to go right around here to make our basic ring shape. And then this is just like the super easiest way to make a ring in the world. And we're going to bend one of these ends up, just up like that. And then let's measure about where that should go. So we're just going to measure that. I have a feeling this is going to be flip flopping everywhere. So I might have to find a solution to that. And there's your basic ring shape. And then we're just going to stick this one on here, okay, and then hold it in place. I think we're going to have to figure this out after. And get our flat pliers or needle nose pliers and take this one and bring it down and give it a good little tug, okay, and give it a little pinch. And then we're going to clip that one flush. So if we can get in there and clip it flush. And then this one too, and if you don't want it to move, just put it back on the ring cone. And take our flat pliers or needle nose pliers. See, this is going to flip all over the place, but we're going to figure out how to fix that after. So we're going to just bring that one down, and that's good for that. We're going to take get rid of that. And then just, again, give it like a little tug thing here, push it in. And maybe at this point we can kind of fix it around to see what's going on here and center it, like center it somewhat, really pinch it in and then give it a flush cut. And whoops, those aren't my cutters. So we're just going to give these like a little cut in there. I might have cut it too short, but that's okay. We're, it's just a sample. It's fine. And then make sure this is sort of in the position that you want it before you pinch it anymore. And just take your flat pliers and give it a good pinch without like pinching through the torus itself. And then we're going to bring it over here. I think this is maybe different than the way I did. I do have a tutorial for the torus ring 
but I have a feeling this might be slightly different. I just don't really remember how I made it because it was a few years ago. So now we're going to just give that one a little pinch. Okay, we're gonna, whoops, it's flipped a bit. Sometimes it's easier to get in with your needle nose pliers. Let's get in with the needle nose pliers and hold that in place. And then we're just going to give it, pinch it in a little bit too, to make sure it's gonna stay. So that should be good. That's super cute. I really like that. So there we go. And uh, you haven't missed anything, Amanda. We're just going to um, work with it, finish this ring. So this is it. This is, it's a little big maybe, but it's super cute, very super basic Taurus ring. So huh, that's our warm up. And then the other thing I thought might be interesting would be to do something flat. And now that I'm thinking about this, I'm going to try something. I was thinking to do this with two pieces, but I think it's going to be, well, we could do it with two pieces. Might be easier with two pieces. Let's try this with two pieces of wire and make a flat one. Because I was thinking we could do, do one, but the trouble is when you do one piece and flatten it, if there's overlap, it can break. And we don't want that. So let's just go ahead and get our basic wire, 16 gauge this time. And I'm going to cut a little piece. So we're just going to cut a little piece of the 18 gauge, uh, not 18, 16 gauge, sorry. Uh, cut that. And we want to first make the loop and then make those things. Um, haven't figured out how we're going to hang it. I think we can hang it with the wire that we wind it with. So that's good. So let us da, 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 circle. Let's go ahead with the looping pliers again. Uh, TPOT says nice. Thank you. So let's go ahead and what size we want to do. Not too small either. It's going to be really fussy to um, attach the horns. So let's just go ahead and make a circle. I might even make it bigger. We're going to see. So if we make a circle like that, I'm wondering if we should make it a little bit bigger. Let's just go. I'm going to move that. Bring that out. I'm going to make the circle a little bit bigger. So we're just going to put it on a Sharpie. Bring that one around. And we are going to cut it. So trouble is when you hammer these things, they get a little distorted. And sometimes it's hard to predict exactly what it's going to do. But we're just going to try it. And then, as always, you guys can benefit from my mistakes because sometimes things don't quite work out as planned. So you want to cut these flush. These cutters are a little worn out, so they're not the best. But this, like, if if you find it doesn't cut so well, I do have my double flush cutters. That's probably what I should be using. I'll get the I'll get the double flush cutters from Zeron because those are probably going to make a better cut. All right. So these are the double flush cutters from Zeron. They're probably going to make a better cut. And let me just figure that out. So this one actually was pretty good. I don't know why this side didn't cut so well. There, that's better. Okay, so perfect. So there's those. And Peggy. Hi, Peggy. How you doing? And let's just close this one up. Perfect. So that one's ready to go. And then we want to do some sort of horn thing. So for that, we can just take our, these ones, our Sharpie, sorry. And then we're just gonna, it's not like the most clean curve in the world, but we wanna put this, actually I want it a little wider, I think. So maybe I'll just use the end of the cone. Let me just bring that out here. We could probably do some adjusting after we hammer it too. So if we gotta put this here, and those will be out like for the horns, but I want them cut on a somewhat of a little bit of an angle. So I don't know if that's gonna work well or not, but if we cut them, take this and cut it maybe on a bit of an angle. Let's see if that's going to work. Uh, not too bad. And then this one, it's kind of sharp, but we'll figure it out. So we're going to do that and then cut that one on an angle. Okay. And maybe what we could do is before we actually flatten it, why don't we file it out a little bit? So I'm going to remove that. And perfect. Let us just file that out a little bit. Get the little pointy end filed down. Sometimes it's easier to put your file on the table and then file it out like that. Sometimes it's better. 
and we're just going to do that for now. Yeah, if I had an electric Dremel, it would probably be easier, but this is just for the sake of doing a sample. So we have these two pieces, and then let's see about hammering. So guys, as always, you can plug your ears because this is going to be loud. And let's get this coffee, coffee, coffee. Yeah, I had I had my half a coffee this morning. I've been taking to having half a coffee in the morning and half a coffee in the afternoon so I don't overdose on it. So, hey, Joan, <clears throat> coffee's on. Nice, nice. So let's go ahead. Actually, I'm, I'm going to uh, have water. I drink water <clears throat> while I'm doing the live stream. Otherwise, I'm going to completely lose my voice, which would not be a good thing. So hammer time. Yeah, it's hammer time. We're doing it. So let's go ahead and do this. I think I need a better hammer. I don't think this is the best one in the world, but maybe because it's worn. I don't know. Maybe I haven't been using it properly, but we're going to see. So we're, let's just go ahead. Plug your ears. I think I have to hit it harder. I think that's my issue. I'm not like banging it hard enough, but I really don't want to break your eardrums. So let me just bring this one in a little bit. Okay, we're just gonna bring it in a little bit. And let's do some more. Watch your ears. And the best would be to go down in my basement and use the rolling mill. That's even better but I don't want to bring you guys in my basement because I might lose Wi-Fi. Whoa, there it goes. Okay. Okay, that's not bad, and it gives you the idea. Let's do the other one. Okay, two cups of coffee. Oh, my goodness. I would be like a ball of nerves if I did that. Uh, it's not very loud. Okay, cool, nice. So let's do this one. Whoa, and this one, too, over the other side. Good, and that's it guys, you can uh, turn up your volume again. So it's not too bad. These little ends aren't bad at all. I think you can do some finishing touches to file them a little better. So they're a little more smooth, but cutting them on the angle helped for sure. And then this one, what I wanna do is bring these ends right in. So maybe it'll help if I do it with the, with the, um, uh, looping pliers just to bring them in a little bit. Okay, we want to bring that one right in so this is like closed. So now we have these two bits and we want to, I really should have made this bigger. This is going to be tricky because it's so small. And let me get some more wire. Okay, you need a hammer with a domed end. They have ones that look just like that. That Okay, yes, the end is rounded. Like, do you mean like that? That's round, or is it different than that? Just let me know, and let us get some 22 gauge wire. So, very happy to have some 22 gauge wire. I didn't have any before, couldn't find some around uh, where I live, so Beagleon sent me some 22 gauge wire. They are so nice, and also big thanks to Beagleon, because they have donated the $500 prize of wire and tools for live wires for the win and be sure to tune in uh, tomorrow at 7 p.m eastern time for episode three of live wires for the win we're having so much fun really really great time so now let us wind this one around so i wish it wasn't so small now but that's okay so we're going to take this and what i want to do is just bring this one around here because we are going to have an end that goes straight up. So let's just take this. Oh, see, that's the trouble. I don't want to wind it where that hole is. I'll get there, but I'm going to I'm going to wind it over somewhere else and then backtrack it there because otherwise this is going to be happening the whole time. So let's just move it over here at the side of that thing. And 720 in Sweden. Nice. That's awesome. No snow yet in Sweden? Um, hopefully not. <laughs> we're still warm here, so that's a good thing. So let's just go around here, and we're going to bring this one around a couple of times. Okay, and up straight. So let's just go around this one a few times in here. I don't know how many times we have to go around, but we'll go around a few times. Uh, what color is Taurus, guys? Uh, we have this 
We have this question every week. What color are the are the gemstones for the zodiacs? Because they might be different than the gemstones for the for the months. So you guys let me know in the comments. Emerald. Okay, cool, nice. Okay, so I have some green stones. So let's bring this one back. Okay, we want to push this a little bit so it's somewhat centered. And then we're going to bring this one back over that little crease. Okay, over the little, the little whatever you call it, the um, the hole. So let's just wiggle. I think we're going to just have to wiggle it over. So as it doesn't have to be like exactly centered, but it has to cover that crease there. And then now we're going to just bring this one over to the other side of that. Uh, the other, I mean, the other, no, I'm going to do it this way. Okay, I was going to say the other thing we could do is bring this wire down, but I'm going to make a loop and uh, put a bead on there. So let's just go over this one a few times. Hi, Caitlin, how are you? Uh, emerald, emerald, okay, consensus. So there we go. We're going to go around here a few times. Two, uh, so we went four there. I guess we should do the same on this side. Four, this one we're going to just center it a little bit around here. And then that one... It's okay. It's maybe I should have done three instead of four, but it's too late now. So we're gonna clip this one. Okay, turn it to be cold. Oh yeah, I had a feeling. Yikes. Yeah, not ready for that. So there we go. Not ready for snow yet, that's for sure. So these are nicely centered, and then what you want to do is just kind of fix these up a little bit. I I think I like I said I probably should have done just three loops instead of four. Four ends up being a little bit wide, but you want enough that it's gonna hold in place. And so if you give it a little pinch, it will hold these in place so they won't slip out. And then now bring this one over and up and we can put a bead on there. Now this is super cute, I'm loving this. So let me see if I can find a somewhat emerald uh, bead. Uh, rain, nice, rain is good. Now I don't know if I have actual emerald guys, I have olive green which is not so nice but you know what I have my old thing of beads that sometimes I go into I just have to find them um, yeah this is my old thing of beads I even have my friend Patricia's name on it I'm not sure why but I guess I maybe lent into her or something and so look at how old this is I've used it as a cutting board as well so this is the tray of beads I used to have before I went nuts for miracle beads and got a whole thing of miracle beads. So these are all my, I have them in different colors. Uh, I put random ones. So I have like royal, red, amber, funky do ones. I, I made a sculpture for a guy recently with a little uh, soccer ball. It was for a friend's son. That was super cute with his name on it. And let's go over here. We have green here. So let's see what we got for green. If we have any anything that looks somewhat emeraldy, I think we do. Uh, best if it's sort of a little more transparent. Oh, here's a couple nice ones. Okay, let's do this. So we've got that and that. So let me remove this. I'm just gonna put it on the floor so it doesn't go all over the floor. So we have these ones. Uh, these this is just a, a round one, and this is the faceted one. So maybe I'll put the faceted one. It's really pretty. And I will just put that one at the side. Okay, light green looks like Peridot for August. Okay, so, and what month is Taurus again? Uh, I don't remember what month it is or what dates it is. Somebody let me know in the comments. So we just put the little emerald green there. You can also add other um, beads if you want. And May, May is Taurus, eh? Cool, nice. And da, 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 da. okay, cool. So now let's do our little loop at the top. So we're just going to take our looping pliers, bring this one around, and I think we can just do a single one like that. We're going to keep this simple. This will be like for a little pendant or something. It's adorable. I really like it. It'd be also cool to hang a little bead in the middle. Wouldn't that be nice? You do a loop and hang the bead down, that would be super cool as well. I like that idea. So now let's go ahead. Uh, May 1st for Amanda, nice, nice, that's awesome. May 2nd, wow, we'll have to have a party in May, fantastic. I live in Hungary, very nice, I love that. Cool, end of April too. Yeah, they overlap with months for sure. So here's our little Taurus. I love him. I think he's adorable. I think it'd be super fun to hang something down from that as well. Uh, so now we've done two things. So guys, let's go back to our 
sketches. I really want to try that one and I really want to try that one. So why don't we try this one first? And um, oh, yes, this one you could almost do on that really big jig. Wouldn't that be cool? Oh boy, I don't know if I would have time to do that one on the jig. I think I'm just going to freeform it and, uh, and then we'll go from there. So let me get some 20 gauge wire. Here we go. So here's some 20 gauge wire and I love what's happening so far. Awesome. Cool. So now we are going to take some 20 gauge wire. Uh, I don't know how much, about 18 inches or something. So to be born on the 14th. Ooh, okay. Wow. That's like two weeks early. That's a lot. That's early. Yeah. So now let's go ahead and just try to follow the shape of this. I hope I cut my wire long enough. Um, on the off chance I didn't, I could recut it, but I think it should be okay. Now we could maybe, I think I'm maybe going to finish it at the top. I was going to just do a loop there, but I think I'm actually going to finish it at the top. So let's just go ahead and, um, just work our way around. So we're just gonna go around and trace this shape. You could definitely like do a template or something with this. It's like it, sometimes it's easier just to trace it than to actually make a template. And um, I'm just gonna go ahead and take it on and off the sketch to try to figure out how to do it. So we're gonna go there and then we want our where is my round pliers? Here's the round pliers. Uh, hi, Crystal. Nice to see you. My daughter is May 12th. Cool. Nice. Nice. So let's just go up and up here to get an idea of, you know, how it would, would look. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then to do the tail, I'm going to actually just take this, bring it back. So it makes a little bit of a point and then bring it back in and that way and let's put it back on here and then down okay pinch it a bit I should have maybe done the sketch slightly bigger but it's okay so there's the first part here okay let's bring this one up a little bit and we're just going to get it somewhat accurate. It doesn't have to be perfect. And let's get our needle nose pliers again. If I miss your comments, I will check them in a little bit. I'm just going to uh, go round and round this shape and then I will have a look. So it seems to be working out quite well that I can see your comments on my iPad. So that's good. I usually have my computer, but I don't have it today. So we're going to go down like that. And then just take this one and bend it across and just form the foot. So we're just going to bring that one. And it's really tricky to get in these tiny spaces. So I'm not sure how well this is going to work, but we're going to see. So then we're going to go out this way. Oh, yeah, I made this way too small. It's very, very tricky to get in there. So up, up like that. And then if we do, if we want to do another leg, we have to kind of backtrack here. So we're going to bring that one down and then that way. Oh, it's fine. If it's not perfect, it's totally fine. So we're going to bring it that way. And what I could do is I, I can always draw out these templates if you guys want to trace them and maybe um, I can make them different sizes or something because this is really, uh, these are really tiny. Little, a little tinier than I would have liked. So that way, and then that way, and there we go. We're gonna bring that one up here. Yeah, just curve it a little bit more. There we go. And now we're going to do this one. Now, I don't think I'm gonna go up into the figure because it's going to be very, very small to do that kind of detail. So I'm just gonna like bring that one down and across and then this one down. Yeah, if I can hold it like right on the jig, it's easier rather than pulling it back and forth all the time. So we're gonna bring that one down and then bring it up again. So we're gonna go down there and that way and that way so let's just check that one 
Okay, and then we want to bend it that way up. And then we need another leg, which is done a little bit differently. So maybe for that one, we're going to have to actually bend it back on itself. So let's bend it back on itself. And then this one seems to go like out a little bit. You can definitely simplify this design. It's just, um, I'm just having fun with it. And so this will be the back leg behind there. So we're gonna go up and then down and then up. So yeah, so we have, it kind of looks 3D when you do that. I kind of bent it to the back and it, it looks pretty cool. So this is here and then we want to come up and form the chin. So let's just bend it a little bit here and then up. And now I actually might do that little crease of the, of the chin there or the cheek, whatever, you, whatever, whatever that would be. We're gonna bend it there and then bend this to the front up here. Yeah, this might've been easier if I'd done it bigger, but I think it's fine. So we're gonna bring, bring this one around here, put it back on this form here. And now we're gonna form the kind of muzzle, whatever you call that. And then we're gonna bring that there. And then this one, it's a little bit pointy. Bring that one up. Okay, oh, there we go. There's the nose and then I might not do the eye for this one. I think I'm gonna keep it simple. I'll do an eye for another one. And then this one, we want to see where the, just see where the, um, the corn is or the horn up here and around and then up around here. We're gonna bend it down, down and then around uh, this way. Okay, front legs look really good, thank you. Well, that, uh, it's neat that it's sort of like overlapping and it gives you this sense of like three dimensionality. It really helps to have a sketch and to follow it exactly. Otherwise, it's really, really easy to distort proportions and then it just doesn't look right. So it definitely helps to have a sketch. There's all kinds of clip art and stuff you can find online if you want to, you know, trace shapes or even I've taken photographs of animals and uh, like trace them into a line drawing and then use that as a uh, as a guide, you know. So this one, I ended up maybe making the horn a little bit big there, but that's okay. So let's bring this one around and then up a little bit here. And then we wanna do the other horn. So we're gonna do this one. We'll just mirror what this one is a little bit and bring that one around. And then we can just bring it not as big, of course. So it will give the sense of three dimensionality. We're gonna bring that one in and that way and then that way. Curve it, I think, a bit is good. So these are like the horns, which end up looking a little bit like legs, but hey, that's fine. So we're gonna do that. And then we'll just bring this one up and around. And then the idea would be we would finish it at the top. So yeah, it gets, the design does get a little bit lost here but it gives you an idea of what is possible. So why don't we just take that and we're just going to hold that here and bend it straight up. So we have like somewhere to finish it, to put a bead or to do a loop at the top. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna take this one and uh, kind of go up and over a little bit. Let's bring that to the front. And we just wanna make sure it's somewhat proportional. So bring it here and here. It's pretty good. Okay, and then hold that in place and then get your round pliers. Hi, Mustafa, you're here, awesome. That's great, because Amber has to go pretty soon, I think. So that's great that you're here. And Clarice, hi Clarice, and Verdella, nice. So there we go, we're gonna just 
close that up and give it a little clip. Perfect. And <clears throat> there we go. So we're just going to do that, close it up. And there we have sort of a somewhat shape. This part maybe got a little bit distorted, but let me put a little bead on there first and then we can and then we can fix that up. So let's remove that and we'll put we'll just put our other bead on there that we had. So we're going to put the this uh, emerald type bead and we're going to do a little loop to hang a jump ring and round pliers or you can use the looping pliers, whatever you want. And we're just going to take this and bring it around. So now we're going to need a little bit of adjusting for this. And I will do after that, I'll do the, the, uh, just the face. So here is, yeah, the legs turned out well. These ones are a little wonky at the back, but that's okay. And then this one has to go down a little bit. I think it lacks a little bit of definition, but, and maybe the eye would have been a good idea because right now there's like no kind of definition for the eye or for anything. Uh, so let's just put it back on here to see. This should also come down a little bit, but then this thing gets a little warbled. So let's just push that out a bit here. No, maybe not. There. Sometimes you push a wire one way and you think it's going to help and then it actually makes it worse. So let's just curve that out a bit. And then this one too, we can kind of curve it out a little bit. And let's just see how that goes. So it's a little bit, I don't know, it's okay. It's okay. It's not the best. Maybe we can bring the horns in together a little bit. That might help. Okay, we're going to bring those horns in a little bit. Uh, the nose is okay. It's maybe should be tilted a little bit more, but that's the idea. It's, it's not bad. It's not bad. So this is the idea of the bull kind of jumping. This is a little exaggerated, but it's, it's okay. It's not too bad. That's great. So let me see how everybody's doing. Fantastic. Uh, I have to leave in a few. Yeah, thanks so much, uh, Amber, for hopping on and have an amazing afternoon. I always appreciate your help and just seeing you in the chat. That's awesome. So that's it, guys, for the, those three. And then now let's try to do this monstrosity. Try to figure it out. Because I put all of these, um, all of these things here. But where are we going to start? That's the thing. I had started at the top. But now I'm wondering, because I just did a loop at the top. Oh, and this, that was what I did. I started at the top, and then I ended at these two places. So that's interesting. Let's get some gold wire. Let's get some gold 20-gauge wire, because I don't want to use too thick wire. And loves how it turned out. Oh, thank you. Thanks so much. Uh, say, take a seed bead and wire it up for the eye. I like that idea. I do like that idea. I'll have to get some tiny seed beads and I can try to add an eye to it because I think it might help to have a little bit of detail. So let's cut our wire. I'm not sure how big a piece to do. So this is about 12 inches. Actually, this is not even a full sheet of paper. So that is not even 12 inches. Here, I have another one here. Sometimes when I need to measure, I just use a piece of paper. I'll just use this from my other uh, thing there. So that's 12. And 20. So that's 12 and 8 is 20. So that's how I measure my wire when I don't have a ruler. So now, uh, Discord, thanks so much, Mustafa, for putting the Discord uh, group because after the live stream, I'll post photos of all these things in the Discord group. So that's fantastic. Thank you. And uh, the constellation. Um, yeah. So, Peggy, sorry, am I, are you replying to something? I'm not sure what that is, but. Uh, yeah, the constellation, is, if you mean with the stars and the lines in between, those are really cute too. Yeah, really cute. So let's start at the top. We're just going to start at the top, and I'm actually going to freeform this because I think trying to follow this exactly is going to be uh, really hard, and I think it's a little bigger than I want to make it. So let's go turn this around towards the constellation. Yeah, I think... I think that's what you mean. So there we go. So let's bring this one around here. I did one or two constellations before I had like the star beads. 
and just set them up like a constellation. And that was really cool. Um, I don't think I did very many. I think I did one on a live stream or something. So now we're going to go ahead and start to form the head. So let's just bring this one down and then bring this one down. Okay, we're going to bring those down. So we have the top of the head going here. And then we want to bring it down and up and around. So let's just try this. It might get out of proportion, like I said, because I'm not going to use that necessarily as a guide, or although I should, probably should. And we're going to bring that one up and then across. So yeah, because if I was going to use it as a guide, I think it's going to be too big. So I'm just going to go ahead and try it like this. So why don't we bring this? Okay, this is the underneath part, and then we're going to backtrack. So now let's just bend this on an angle so it's nice and sharp. Okay, we're going to bend that on an angle, bring it over, and then we're going to, maybe I'll get the looping pliers for this. We're going to bring the looping pliers down here, okay, and then we're going to bring this one across, okay, and then we're going to bring that one down. So this one I could definitely like draw out a template and um, link it up below because it's it's a little tricky and it would be helpful to have the directions. So there's one horn and then now getting it mirror image is a trick. So there's just, yeah, see that's a little low so we're gonna adjust it or a little high. It, it might not be perfect guys, but it's okay. We're just going to try to somewhat follow what we did on one side Bring that one that way, that one that way. Yeah, it would really be helpful to have a template for this, but I'm just gonna wing it. And I'll draw out a template maybe on a graph paper or something so it's gonna be easier. So we've got that one, and then we're gonna bring this one to the back. Okay, and we're gonna bring that one back here. And then we want to bring it down again. So we're gonna do that. We can just do it with our fingertip too. You can use pliers or you can just round it out with your fingertips and then that way. So there's our two, ooh, those are kind of cool. So there are the two horns and now we're gonna take these and bring it down. So there's our, bring that over a little bit. So there's our starting point for that. That's exactly, I pretty well exactly followed what I did there. And then, uh, the direction, oh, you said it looks like a constellation because of the arrows. I get what you mean. Okay, cool. And then now we want to do the ears. So what we're going to do, we're going to go down across the bottom and backtrack across the top. And that, that just makes it look a little more solid. And, mm hmm Okay, so let's just go ahead and do this. We're going to bend that down, up. And that way to the top, let's go to the top. That The bottom one we went, yeah, let's do that. So we're gonna go up and then down, okay. And then what I do, what happens here, it's hard to tell from the drawing, it goes directly from the ear down to the nose, okay. So let's hold that and bring it, like kind of comes right down to the nose. So now let's do the other side. Let's replicate what we did there and take this one below here and then down, up, up and then get the length of the ear that way and then down a little bit more. We're just making the shape, those are the ears. And then same thing, we're gonna just take this and come down towards the nose. So that's the idea, different kind of, um, design. Uh, yeah, so it's kind of cool. I like it already. It's a very kind of stylized design. We're going to bring that one down. Okay, that one and that one. So that looks good. And now, I believe all the zodiac are, but I could be wrong. Yes. Yeah. Just Google Taurus is a constellation. Yes, they're all constellations. Yeah, and you can um, uh, there you can see diagrams of the constellations if you Google if you Google them for sure. So here's our first part, and so now we want to go down to the nose and do one wire one way and one wire the other. 
Uh, yeah, the Big Dipper is, uh, is an easy one for sure. Yeah, so now we're going to bring these ones out here. That way and that way. Okay, and then we're going to form the nose. So just decide at what point you want to put the nose. And we're just going to bend one of them one way. One of them across. And then this one across the other way. So try to make sure they're at the same position. Bring that one here and bring that one straight across. So now these wires are, one's going one way and one's going the other. And if you need to adjust them, so say that's not long enough, you can just open it up and adjust it a little more. So that's what we have so far. And then we wanna do, they're gonna go down on either side. And what I did was just a little round uh, thing to to represent the nostrils. So they could be round, they could be oval, they could just be little lines, uh, however you think you wanna do it. So now we're gonna take this and I'll flip this over and do one of them like kinda out that way and then flip that. And then this one, we're gonna take that one and do it out that way a little bit. So let's see how that's gonna go. It's a little bit large. So let's just bring that one in a little bit. And then this one too, we can just bring it in a little bit. Okay, and then now we're gonna be uh, so I have to run. No worries, Joan. Yeah, absolutely. We'll see it. We'll see you soon. See you on Monday. Tip Tuesday. <laughs> nice. So let's do the little, um, the little nostrils. Just, we're just going to make them really tiny, very tiny here. Bring it down just for fun. We don't have to do nostrils, but I think it might be cute. So we're going to see, they might look a little a little silly, but we're going to do one there and then one on this side. And I don't know if it should go to the back or the front. Maybe it should also go to the, the same direction just so they look more or less on the same plane. So we're going to bring this one around and do a little nostril thing here. Okay. So there we have... I don't know how, if that's good or not, but we're gonna try that. So they've got like two little nostrils. And then what I wanna do is bring one of them kind of around and then straight across. And then the other one, I actually wanted to dip down to represent kind of the the chin of the, of the bowl, but we might have to like bring that in and then bring it maybe just do a good little dip down and then dip it down a bit and then do like a little chin thing that we can adjust. Okay, we're gonna do that like that. Just a little, like a little kind of a chin thing. And then we're gonna dip it out a bit more. So we're gonna take this and dip it out a bit more. And then what do we do here? Okay, yeah. And then it looks like what I did for my sketch is I just kind of like, this is where I'm at here, guys. I'm right here. So we want to bring these out like the, I guess you call those the jowls of the, of the animal possibly. So we're going to take that out and bring these like on a bit of a curve. Ooh, I like that. And bring that one in. And then this one too, we're going to bring that one on a bit of a curve to make the jowls of the animal not too wide, or he's gonna look like he just got his wisdom teeth removed, which we don't want. So now we're gonna take that and we're going to bring that one in and then bring that one up. Oh, I cut this wire way too long. So we're gonna bring this one out like that. Okay, and Lillianne would love this, cool. And then now, I think I could remove this now because we want to just finish it under the ears. So let's remove the sketch so it's not so distracting. And we're gonna bring this one in and then we want to bring this one out a little bit. Now the hard part, of course, is getting them even uh, on both sides. And then did he have eyes? I guess he didn't have eyes. Hmm, maybe we should do eyes. And so there's that and that. These ones go out. 
This one should maybe come back to the front, but I'm wondering, we should definitely do some kind of eye thing. So let's do that. This one maybe needs a little bit of adjusting and then maybe a little bit of adjusting here. Okay, and then let's bring this back and see what we can do for eyes. So I don't want them necessarily round because that might look funny, but we could maybe just bring like, do like line eyes, like little squinty eyes or something. So let's take this and do the, I'll get my needle nose pliers. We're just gonna see whereabouts the eyes should be, maybe around there. So let's just go ahead and take this and should be good. So if we take this, we're gonna bring that one in and then I'm gonna just bend it back on itself to make kind of slightly squinting eyes to give the impression of eyes because I don't think I want them round. Oh, I don't know if I made them long enough now. Okay, let's bring that back. Okay, and then, please don't break, bring that one back this way and then up. So there's one eye. It's not too bad. It's just like a little squinty thing. And you could definitely do these eyes any way that you want. Maybe it was a little high, but that's okay. And then this one, we want to have it kind of in the same position. I'll bend it a little bit first and then just see if they're more or less in the same position. And sometimes our eyes play tricks in, on us and we think it's in the right position, but it's actually way off. That's why I like to draw things out first and trace them so it's a little bit easier. So let's bring this one back bend it back on itself. And now that it's good because the wires are both on the same side. So that's cool. So now let's do this, bring it back. And then we're gonna bring that one up here. So guys, this is, I can't believe we're actually finishing it. It looks really cool. Um, now I'm gonna, because these are really long, I'm just gonna clip them because they're getting in the way here. So we're gonna do that. Perfect. Oh my God, there's a cute dog walking down cutest dog I've ever seen it's a puppy oh my god that is so cute I love I love seeing all the dogs in my neighborhood sorry I got distracted so now let's go ahead and I actually snapped my wire yesterday oh I'm telling you that is the worst thing sometimes you can get away with it and figure out a way to attach a new wire but it's not always that easy so now the question where I'm going to attach these wires. So I think I'll just attach them at the bottom of the ear. I think that's going to be fine. So do I want to attach it um, behind the ear? Nope, above the ear. Sometimes it's obvious. So now we're going to take this, and these are my round pliers, that's good. I always like to help the wire with my round pliers. So we're just going to hold it here, give it a bend, lift it and stick it in the ear. Take this here and then just bring it around. Okay, and we can adjust the position after and then we're gonna cut it flush here. And now, hate when that happens. Yeah, pet peeve of jewelry makers. When the you bend the wire too much and it snaps. Oof, yeah. Yeah, it happens a lot with aluminum wire too because it's, um, it's very fragile. Copper has a little bit more uh, forgivingness, if that's a word. And, uh, but aluminum is pretty delicate, so it can easily snap. So, and some of the aluminum, how, how some of the aluminum we have for our work is very brittle. So it really, sometimes it just depends on the lot of what you've bought. So there, oh my God, this is the cutest thing ever. So now let's go ahead and put these ones in here uh, to make sure they're flush and put that one in here. And then at that point, you can decide what position you want uh, these to be in. So if they have to bring be in a little bit more, just push them in. And then when you're happy with the position, just give it a little pinch. So just give them a little pinch without pinching through the wire. And then this one too, we want it sort of more or less in the same position. So we're gonna take that and we're going to pinch it 
And I think that's going to be it for today, guys. I don't even know what time it is, but there's we made that one, which I really like. Um, copper's my favorite. Yeah, copper's awesome. So there we go. So we did the, the bowl. We did this one. Oh, there's one more I want to make. I forgot. So go away. Now we're going to... <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, the, I'm th Okay, perfect, guys. So I'm going to just... Um, I'm just going to do one more. Sorry, I got I got distracted. Um, Cape Charles artist Melody. Thank you so much, Melody, for uh, hopping on. So I wanted to try something. I did one. I used to do one way back in the day with a jump ring for a nose. So let me see if I can remember how I used to do that guy. Um, but -um, but -um, why don't we use 18 gauge? This is like a heavy duty 18 gauge timbed copper. So let's use that one. I'm just going to cut a little piece. Uh, I don't know if I still have a picture of that one that I used to make. It would be way down in my archives. So I am going to... The girl looks cool. Yeah, the girl's cool too, eh? Yeah, I thought that would be fun. Uh, it's not my original idea. I saw a picture somewhere on Google of a girl with horns. I thought it was super cute. So... So um, I thought it'd be fun to put my own spin with her face, but we'll see. I don't know if I'm going to have time or not, but let's go. Let's just, I want to do one more thing with that. Now, how I did it was I think I just started with doing some loops in the nose and then I went from there. So let's just see. Uh, Peggy has to go. Okay, thanks for hopping on. So now I'm just going to take these looping pliers and the idea was, I totally forget how I made this, but I did like a loop this way, okay, and, uh, okay, sorry guys, I'm just gonna think for a second, and, okay, let's do it that way, and then I'm gonna take my flat pliers. I'm almost tempted to see if I can find a picture of this in my stuff, but it might take me a while to do so, whoa, okay, let's get the needle nose pliers for that. Uh, there they are. Okay, so we're going to do that, and then that way, and then we are up this way, and then we're going to do another one here, okay, around here, because the idea, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just trying to do like two loops, but now I think they're maybe a little too far apart but maybe not. So the idea was to do two closed loops and then bend this one out to the side. So we're gonna do that. And then this one out to the side like that. So the idea, yeah, we have these two closed loops because I wanna put a jump ring through them to make like the nose of the bull. I mean, I could have those hanging down, but I, what I what I want to do is to have those up, maybe out, pointing out slightly. That that's probably what I should do. And then Taurus kind of looks like a devil horn ring. Yes, it does. Yes. Oh, you have twenty more minutes. Awesome. So now we're just going to bring this one here, and then this one here. This might or might not work. And then we're going to bring this one out. And then just to do the eyes, I think I'm going to keep it super simple, guys. Bring that one out. And then bring that one out. Make sure my hands are staying on screen. And then for the eyes, oh, I'm going to do funny googly eyes on this guy. Sometimes I do them like googly eyes. This is going to be way too big. Maybe this one. Yeah, that one's too big. So let's try this size. I love these pliers because you can just like choose whatever size you want. So let's do this size here, around here, and then I'm going to do one on this side. He's just going to be a funky looking bull. So we're going to bring this one around this side here. It's not going to look like Taurus anymore. It's just, it's just going to be fun. So now we're going to do this one here. And then we want to do the pupils of the torus. So this one has to go down a little bit more. Sometimes it takes a little bit of adjusting. And then we need our smaller pliers. So our smaller round nose pliers. 
Okay, of uh, the jump ring. Yes, with the dangle, exactly. So now we're gonna take this one and bring this one around. I just hope I put those loops in the right position that it will dangle well, but we are going to find out. So we're gonna bring that one up here. So there's, he's a funky bull. I like his eyes. He's got like googly eyes. So now we're gonna do that circle inside that one. Just bring it around and up that way. Get in there. Okay, up that way, perfect. So now we've got his funny little eyes and let's just bring that one in here. And then we're gonna do ears. So ears are easy. So we're just gonna bring ears down, down, that way. I don't know how big ears the ears should be, down that way and down that way and out. I really should have dug out the picture for this, but I'm just kind of going by memory of how I used to make this. So I actually used to do full, full on cow earrings as well, but I kind of, my stuff has changed a little bit. I've tried to simplify what what I make, at least for selling the stuff that I'm selling. Uh, otherwise it's, it's like takes far too much time than it's actually worth. But sometimes I revisit these old designs and, uh, and it's fun. So we're gonna bring this one around to do one of the horns and then this one here to do like, and maybe for the bull, we should really exaggerate it, eh? Should we just, yeah, because I think originally I didn't make them that big, but now I'm thinking we should really exaggerate these horns for the bull okay so there's that and that and then we want to take the flat pliers again cute eyes are fun eh they're like googly eyes <laughs> oh my goodness okay so now let's just take this quite wide and then we're going to bend that one to the back okay now how are we going to measure this one that's the trouble so we could try to do like a little measurement on our pliers to see it's about the same size. But you know what, even if it's not perfect, it's fine. So we're gonna take this one and bend that one to the back like that. And then just hold the end and bring it in here. So we have one horn. Ooh, I like it. And then we want to just finish it off in the middle. But what you can do is like bend that a little bit, bring that over here and then figure out where the halfway point is. I'll finish that band after when I figure out if it's halfway or not. So we're gonna bring this one in here, bring it around here, and then just about in the same position, bend that up and across. So now, oh my gosh, he is adorable. So now what we wanna do is make sure this is centered. So we might have to actually push this one over a little bit and up there and see how that looks. So we can bring this one to the front. Uh, twisted horns, yes. Twisted horns would be cool. I did some twisted horns on, I think it was the Capricorn one that I did, the twisted horns, and the, even with a coil, and they look so cute. Um, I think it was Capricorn. I kind of, I've kind of lost track uh, because some of the Zodiacs are somewhat similar. So there we go. So we're gonna just do that and bring that one around and give it a little cut, clip it, and love him, aw, nice. So there he is, yeah, he's, he's a cute little Taurus. So should we put a bead, guys? Let me know if we should put a bead, and I'm gonna do the jump ring. So the jump ring, I'll just use a scrap of the 18 gauge wire. I don't think this is the 18 gauge wire. Let me find a different scrap. I uh, have to look for, yeah, so I have, um, I didn't put them in a playlist. I should put them in a playlist of the zodiac signs. Maybe I did, I don't remember. I'll make a playlist with all the zodiac signs. Oh no, they're in the in the live stream playlist, but I will link them up in the, in the video uh, description so you can see all the different uh, zodiac signs because we've done, I think about seven of them so far. And I keep losing track of what we've done. For sure we've done Sagittarius, Capricorn, Libra, Leo, Gemini. I forget what else we did. Did we, did we do another one? So that's a biggish ring. I'm not quite sure what size to make it. Let's make a couple and then decide which is the best size. So there's that one. And then I'll take another little piece of wire. 
and we'll do another size and we'll just compare them to see which one is better. So that one was, okay, that one was this, which is the, I think it's seven millimeters. So let's try a five millimeter and then we'll see. I think the seven is nice, it's big, but, and there's no six millimeters. So we'd have to just, we could do a six millimeter, but we'd have to find a different uh, pliers. So yeah, we have a little one which is maybe a little bit too small, but we can also, if we just adjust it, we could actually make it, make our own six millimeter. We'll just open it up a little bit. So then it makes it like somewhere between the five and the seven, if you just adjust it a little bit. So let's cut them both and see which one's better. So we have our double uh, flush cutters. So let's do that. So we're just gonna cut and cut. Perfect, love these. And then this one, we are going to cut and cut. Perfect. So now we have two sizes of jump rings to put for our Taurus. This one, I find it's a little bit big. So let's start with the small one and see how it goes. We'll just open them up. Okay, let's open up this guy and stick it through these two loops the nostrils and push it down here. Oh my gosh, I'm getting a wave of nostalgia. I used to make these all the time when I was selling jewelry on the street. And um, actually at the time I was also selling them at the gallery. There's the uh, National Gallery in, of Canada, which is in the nation's capital in Ottawa. They used to carry my jewelry in the gift shop, which was really cool. And this was one of the ones that I used to sell was the little bowls. Oh, I like it. It's so cute and you can play with it. So now uh, you want some of those for sure. Cool. Yeah, they're awesome. So now let's see if we should put a bead or maybe a few beads on there. We could do that. Uh, any other color for Taurus or is it just emerald? Do we have any other choices for beads? Uh, that we have also the green miracle bead, which is cool. Let me know what you guys think. I also like putting metal beads in there. Metal beads are fun. Let me see what I have for the metal beads. Uh, green and hematite. Okay, is hematite uh, a thing for Taurus? I'm not sure. Uh, earth tones are good. Okay, earth tones are good. So maybe even like a earthy green might be good. So let's have a look. I also have the miracle bead, which I love. You guys know I love the miracle beads. So maybe I'll put some green miracle beads and I can put some hematite. We're going to get way too many beads on here. So let me just take a few of these and let us put some beads. I like the miracle bead. It's fun. And we can put like a little spacer bead. I love the spacer beads. Although that one's a little gray. So let's remove that. These are just odd beads that if I don't have a pair, ooh, no, I don't like that. Poof. Let's wait. I'm going to come back in here. Sometimes you just know. So let me get just some regular spacer beads to give it a little bit. Just, yeah, that one's nice. Okay. That makes me feel better. And then just a little, well, now it looks kind of like a crown. Oh boy. Um, I'm just gonna put a bunch of beads, you know, it doesn't really, whoops, it doesn't really matter. It's just to finish it off. That's kind of interesting. I don't know if I like it or not. Maybe that, this hematite bead is a little, a little big maybe, but it's not too bad. Or maybe just three. Let's just put three beads. I don't want to overkill. Okay. Perfect. Looking about how to make wands. Somebody was asking me recently about wands. Yeah, I think I just did one on a live stream. I don't think I did an actual tutorial with a wand, but I did one with a star. And um, you know what we could do? We could also do that bail thing where we turn this the other way around. Let's do that. Let's make it a little more fancy. Uh, I think I did, I've definitely made wands with kids in workshops before. We did stars and music notes and things like that. They're really fun to do. And some people do wands with just wrapping like crystals and stuff, which are really nice, like sort of like a uh, healing wands type of thing. So here's, yeah, I've just done a double little bale thing on here, that's fine. And then usually what I'd like to do is just, I don't know why these get stuck in here sometimes. Maybe it's just the way I'm working with them. And then we're just gonna bring that one around 
Okay, and then we're gonna clip it. Get my cutters. And I don't know if we have time to do that girl or not. If we do, use skewers, wire, gemstones, and hot glue. Nice, nice for the um for the wand. Yeah, I think there's endless possibilities for doing wands. So guys, here's our funky do Taurus bull thing. I like this one. He's really cool, and I love that this moves. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys have time for me to try one more or if you're if you've had enough of me So just let me know in the comments and if you want I can try the girl one and um, We can see how it goes. You might try one today. Nice. Oh, I'd love to see a picture of your wand mm -hmm. Great idea. I'm just gonna see where I put my picture. There we go. Uh, never enough. Oh, you're so sweet. Okay, let's do it guys. Let's see what we can do about this girl But I think what we would do is put her in a frame and then we can um, Put her inside a frame. So let me just get some thicker wire and Make a little frame with that and da -da -da -da. I don't know which which wire I'll use. I have a bunch of random wires in here so let me see if I have some that I can recuperate what's this one? Oh, I'm gonna recuperate this one because I used it for something else and I'll just make a big frame and would we'll try to put something inside cattle farmers would love those there you go gifts for farmers love it so he's adorable thank you so let's go ahead and make a frame for this and we'll try to do like a some kind of little girl a girl bull in a frame just for fun so now let's bring that one around get in there let's not get off the screen and i'm just gonna make it super simple i'm not gonna bother to flatten it this time but you can definitely do a more like a flattened frame if you prefer uh whatever you like i'm gonna bend that one up and give that one a little cut. I have to go to Michael's and get more of this wire. I like their 16 gauge uh, craft wire. It's a nice gold color. And then they have the value packs of wire uh, in the same color. So um, I think I'm due to go to Michael's and get a, get a little bit more stuff. So let's give this one a clip. And I bought resin last week to put my pieces from uh, last week's in resin and um, ran out of time. So that's something else I have to do because I had done the Aquarius and I wanted to put them in a resin frame and I completely ran out of time. So one day I will pull out the resin and see what I can do with that. So let's go ahead and just make this super simple. Bring this down. Ooh, Mark's cooking smells good, Mark. Yum. Tonight we're having, um, what are we having tonight? Souvlaki, that's what we're having tonight because we had a um, improvised dinner party at a local ice cream shop last weekend and we had souvlaki and it was so good so I went and bought everything for it. So there is our frame value pack. So the value packs at Michael, it's three spools of wire, or not spools, like three things of wire like this. There's 24 a gauge 18 gauge and 20 gauge and it's 10 bucks I think so for the three rolls of wire So I use that often for the samples when I don't have the right gauge of the artistic wire. I use that So here is our frame and here is the girl and I think we're just gonna have to wing it because I really do not know how I'm gonna do this so let's just go ahead and get some silver wire and we're gonna pull it a piece of the silver wire and try to do I'm wondering if we should start with the face so we kind of know where we're going with this hmm what am I going to do so I am going to just take some pliers round ones homemade bread yum 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 a souvlaki it's basically just little bits of marinated meat it's uh, usually um, beef or chicken i i got uh, organic chicken and it's marinated and they put them on skewers like those little sticks and then you cook them and you put them in pita with tzatziki uh, which is like garlic and yogurt and um, all kinds of things super good super uh, super good stuff so now let's go ahead and try to do 
So yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna wing it. I'm not quite sure how I want to do her, but I do have to do her eyes. So maybe I'll start with that. We're just gonna bring this one up. I don't think I've ever made one this way where I start with the chin and then go in with the eyes, but I'm just gonna try it. So we're gonna bring this one in, bring this one around. And sometimes when these pliers aren't small enough for the loops, I use my little trusty teeny tiny uh, Cresta pliers that sadly you can't buy anymore, but they have a very nice tiny little tip. So I'm gonna cheat and go back to my red pliers. Chinese noodles, yum, yum. You guys are making me hungry. I just had lunch though, so it's all good. I had the... Uh, I had my salad for lunch. So now let's go down and we're just gonna do like a little nose thing. We're gonna go down here, just a little nose. I wanna make her pretty simple. Hopefully I'm not gonna run out of room. And then I was gonna do some lips, but I don't know if I'm able to do those lips or not. They're gonna be really small if I do. Let's try it. We got nothing to lose, right? So let's just do some little, oh, she's gonna, huge lips but I could I could also make the chin a little longer if I want yeah you know what I could do rather than be restricted by the size of the chin I'm gonna just open that up so I don't have to worry about that so yeah these lips are really woof, this is gonna be strange okay so let's go ahead and make these oh she's gonna have a humongous mouth but that's fine so now we're just going to do this is how I've done the lips. I did, used to do like this wire lady logo earring thing. And it was basically a lady wearing earrings and her mouth was like this, but it was a bigger, it was a bigger design. So, oh wow, that's funky. But I think if we just take this maybe and stack it, so that's on top of that one, it's gonna take up less space. I don't know how well it's going to sit under her nose, but it's fine. So we're going to bring this one around here, bring that one across, and then bend this one to the back. I'm trying to just go back and forth here, so bend that one to the back. And let me remove this so it's not in the way. And... Super duper tiny round nose. I know, I know. Like the, the Zeron pliers are nice, very nice, but they're not tiny like these. And these ones were from a hardware store that went out of business 20 years ago. So, and I bought them 30 years ago. And I have seriously not found any nice pliers like this. They're hard metal, super smooth, teeny tiny ends. Like, see, this is the, no, that's not the Zeron ones. These are the Zeron ones, and they're pretty good. They're actually not too bad at all, but they almost look the same. But I think I'm more comfortable with these, like, because I have so much more experience with them. So um, so let's just go ahead. So I bent like that, that there, and we're going to bend this one to the back. Okay, and now we have... Oh, they're kind of cute. They're funky little um, lips. And then this one... I'm going to try not to break this. We're going to bring this one straight up. And then this one here might end up looking a little bit cartoony, but that's okay. And we're going to take this one out. Careful not to break it. Bring that one out and then bring it back up. And then we're going to do some eyes. We're going to bring this one across here. So we have sort of what looks like little eyes. If you have a better way to make a face or a head for the girl with the horns uh, go for it but this is sort of like a first attempt at how I might do it so now we have a face that's kind of cool and if you want to do actual eyes I guess we'll have to go back okay we're gonna go back in and actually to finish the eyes so we're gonna go here okay so there's the eye is Finished. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's the face. And then maybe we'll just give her even some little eyebrows or something. Ooh, those are cool. So let's do the other side. Hi, Angie. Um, so let's do the other side. And uh, Melody says, cool. Yes, yes. It's, uh, I, I like it. 
It's fun. It uh, might not uh, work in the frame, but we're going to see. So it's very detailed. So let's just go here. Lips are so hard to do. The lips are hard, but I like doing them this way. I've definitely done them like that before, and, um, and they're just very funky, very exaggerated, right? So now we're going to bring this one across. Oh, I'm going off the screen now. So here is... Hopefully she doesn't look angry with her with her eyebrows, but it's okay. So there's, whew, there's the face. I'm gonna take a little sip of water. There we go. And now, what do we want to do? So we need to make the chin again because, yeah, what happened to my chin? It disappeared. Okay, so there we go. So let's do this again. Uh, we're gonna bring this one down. Uh, I guess this will come like right down. And actually, if you do, I wonder if you did like a, if you did this, it might look funny, but it's just going to give the impression of hair, which might be cool rather than being too stiff. And then we're going to bring this one up to be the chin. Okay, so there's the chin. And we're going to bring it, it's going to be like a little pointy, but that's okay. Bring it out. And then... We're going to do it curved. She looks a little wrinkly, but it's supposed to represent her hair. So now if we bring this one, like, let's just keep doing it, like, kind of a little bit curly like that. And then if we bring it up here. And what we want to do here. Um, I think the horns I want to do with a separate color. I think it's going to look more interesting. But maybe what we could do is, 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 is uh, okay, Let's just bring this one around and just kind of make it look like hair, I guess. Okay, around and around and around. Yeah, maybe the hair can attach to the frames. We're just gonna bring these around, okay, around and around sort of interesting and then we're just going to bring this one down to make the hair down and down 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 and let's see if we gotta go toddler okay no worries amanda thanks for hopping on and you could definitely watch the replay so if we're gonna just put the face in here yeah that way i think we're just gonna put her like a little closer down here so let's just Put this the the head, this might be a little bit small, the frame, but that's okay. We're gonna put some horns on it after. This is just for fun. So now we're gonna wind this one around here. Okay, just bring that one down and around, maybe a couple of times. Okay, just around here, and then this one, also. We're gonna wind that one down, a couple of times. So we're just gonna bring that one here. A couple of times there we go and then we just want to start making some the hair I guess we're gonna just bring that one here and then we'll bring that one to the front and I'm not gonna have that much wire to do a lot of hair but let's just see what we could do so we're gonna bring this one here and bring the wire back and forth back and forth Maybe if we just like keep going around like from one side to the other, I'm going to just keep making it like curly. I've never done one quite like this before. So this is interesting. So we're going to bring that one here. Yeah. So it just kind of goes like to there and then we're going to twist this one around and then I'll do the same on the other side. So we're going to just bring that one here, give it a little clip. Okay. Matthew doesn't nap anymore. Yeah, I remember those days when they stop napping. So now we're just going to go back and forth and back and forth. And let's just get the hair. And then we're going to try to do some kind of horns. So this is kind of interesting. It's working. I wasn't quite sure how it's going to attach the hair. So that's good. So, woo, there we go. Nice hairdo. So we're just going to bring that one down here. 
she looks a little scary, but that's okay. And then now we're just going to bring this one here. Definitely not as graceful as the drawing, but it's fine. It gives us an idea of what to do. So there is our very stylized girl with her cool lips and stuff. And then the hair, you can always like bring it in a little bit or something. You can always give her a little bit of a of a hairdo. That's always a possibility. So there she is. She's funky. So now let's do some, let's do the horns to see if it'll work. And if you want to even bring the, her hair's a little full, so you could bring it in a little bit more if you want. Uh, that's maybe a little, yeah, maybe it's a little, a little much, the hair. Looks like my hair. It's a little thick. My hair's very thick. My hair's too thick. So there we go. We're going to bring that one out. Just giving her a hairdo. There we go. So she's definitely interesting. Now let's give her some horns. Uh, no, I haven't tried the resin. Uh, Paul says, love it. Thank you. Um, uh, I didn't try the resin because I ran out of time, but I definitely want to try the resin. So that's, that's going to happen soon. Uh, here's, no, that's too thick. Let's try some 20 gauge wire, I guess, for the horns. Um, and they just went up like that, but we could also do them so they show up. We could do them the same way we did the Capricorn ones with the spiral. We can try that. Let me just see. I don't have a lot of 20 gauge wire, so I'm wondering if I should just use 22 so I don't run out of wire. So let's get the 22 gauge wire and see what we can do for that. So I'll take that. I'm going to just cut a big, long piece. And if it's too thin, I'll go for the 20. I just, whoops, I just don't want to use all my 20 gauge wire. So let's see what we can do. Yeah, I definitely want to try that epoxy because I haven't had a chance to do it yet. So I will definitely try that at some point. And then now for the horns, I don't know if I want to do the spiral or not, but if I did want to do the spiral, I would just take a thicker wire. Uh, like this. Let me remove that. And I would take this and just start like somewhat halfway. And we're just going to go and do like just around here. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Let me just try it. And if it doesn't, oh, what did I do last time? Did I do a spring and then I spread it? I don't remember. Let's just go ahead and try this. And then we're going to see. So if we just do a bunch of like these here. I don't know how much, like it would be better if it started from thick to thin, but I don't know if that's going to work or not. So let's just do a bunch of these. Let's see how far away from each other they're going to have to be from there, maybe to there or something. Uh, yeah, because I don't, mm, hmm. sorry guys, I'm just thinking and maybe I should leave a little wire in between. Let's just try it this way. So we're gonna go this way and twist this one around too and then see what happens. So we're gonna go around here, here, here and just try to do a little bit of a spring and then I might actually change my mind and not do this at all. But for now, we'll just have the possibility of doing this and we want to make sure these are about the same length so let's just keep going with it I mean you can always push them in if they're too spaced out see we could just push them in a little bit we'll do this one a little bit more push it in and I mean you can measure them to see if they're the same size but they should be more or less the same size. And I think these ends are a little long now, so why don't we cut them? Just cut that one there and that one there. Uh, please make a video of you trying it for the first time. Oh, I could do that. That's a good idea. I could film myself trying the resin and uh, hopefully it's gonna work. So this is, I've just done these. This looks like some little Horn things that you can buy and wear on your head. Oh, she looks like an alien now. Look at her. <laughs> Look at her now. She looks like an alien. I don't think I'm going to like these, but let's just see. If we will go up and then out, 
just to see, like it doesn't hurt to try, right? So if we go out like that, and then this one would be the same. We kind of go like up and out, okay? Oh, they're funny. So we're gonna go like that, and so this would be like the horns. I would maybe take that little wire out or put it at the back. I don't know, guys, what do you think of that? <laughs> she looks very funny. So let me know what you think, and if you think there's a better solution to these horns, but I think they're funny. Uh, I kind of like them. They're definitely very space agey. So you like them? Okay. <laughs> Mustafa likes them, so they're gonna happen. Uh, but I don't want I don't like that line across her head. So either I hide it behind or which I might be able to do, or I can twist it around. So let's see if we can get them in behind there. We might be able to do that. And then yeah, it's gonna be easier than trying to twist them around, I guess. Or we can just twist them around. Okay, so let's just twist them around. We're gonna cut that halfway. We're just gonna put this one here. And also what I wanna do is figure out what I'm gonna do with that. So if we're just gonna take this one here, I think I'm gonna put it where the crease of her hair is. So I'm gonna need some, uh, do me for the first time, yes. Uh, hide it, yeah. The wire could be a headband oh well there's that too yeah there's that too so I already cut it so I'm gonna have to just deal with that and we're gonna bring this one in here my hands are all going off the screen so let's just get this one in here with our needle nose pliers if we can access that perfect so we're gonna get that one in here push it in okay and get that one up here. And hopefully that goes in there. So there's one, and then we wanna, I, I kinda like them going outside of the frame, but it's only cause she's like really, she ended up being much bigger than I thought she would be. What if I move these in a little bit? I'm just trying to see if I can make her, ooh, a little smaller. Okay, let me just bring this one around. And oh, now we still have to center it. So if I just brought her in a little bit, made that a little smaller, and where are, they went up like from her forehead, right? So if we just brought those up, and then now I'm thinking I wanna keep it within the frame. So let me just, if I make that a little bit wider here, in there, and then do it like that. Well, they look really silly. I'm not sure about these, but we can try. Let me just put this one through. Okay, and this one here. <laughs> Guys, I really do not know about these about these things. Okay, so take a picture in your mind of what it looks like there. Um, I'm not thrilled about it. I think I'm gonna remove them. Uh, I am going to try something else. So let's remove that. It looks a little bit too space ag for me so i'm just going to remove those save them because maybe i'll use them but i'm going to try something else with some thicker wires so let's remove that if i can access it there we go so let's just take that one out okay bye bye so let's get some 18 gauge wire which is here and the horns are too long. Yeah, the horns are too long and they're kind of kooky with those coils. So let's just try something else. Maybe I'll go back to them, but I'll try with the 18 gauge wire. I'm just gonna have a sip of water. Mm. Oh, maybe flat, flat horns might be cool too. And then they would stand out a little more if we did some flat horns. Um, but um, but um, but um, but um. Let me just see what the picture looks like. And let's just try this again. Okay, so let's just take this, the round looping pliers. We're gonna go up and up. And then here, over here, 
And I like the idea of the headband thing. I think that's cool. Um, let me just see if we did this in behind, we we'll stick it in one where one of the one of the hair things are. So if we go here and bring that one in here. Okay, let's just bring this one down here and bring this one in here. Mm -hmm. Maybe look at make it look like a headband might be interesting. And we're just going to bend this one up here. Let's see how that's gonna look. So if we get that there and that there, mm -mm, these should go out more up and that way. And this one too, up and that way. Let's see what it's gonna do. Ah, uh, da, 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 da. around there. Okay, so let's see. So that goes on the, ooh, this is interesting. She looks like a Viking. That's not a bad idea. So there we go. So we're going to go up and up that way. And then this one up. And then that, that way. And then I think they'd have to go up again, maybe. Okay, let's make them really wacky and see what happens. So we're going to bring that one up here and that one up here. Okay, so, uh, okay, that's interesting. Um, mm -mm -mm. Let me just see what I'm doing here. They're a little too, I don't know what they are doing now. No, I, I want them, hmm, these should go out a little more. So let's bring these out a little bit more. Okay, and this one too, out a little bit more. This is where my brain gets fried and I'm kind of losing sight of what I'm actually doing here. So let's just bring this one, okay, out and out. I'm gonna put that one straight. Okay, that one's gonna go straight out. And then this one there and there and then this one should be straight so let's just get the straight pliers and that one there that one there and then we are going to bend them back on themselves so we're going to bend that one back here that way and then this one we're going to bend them back here here and well, yeah. Oh my goodness! After an hour, uh, it's pretty intense. Uh, it's uh, my brain is like going on overdrive, and so I'm just like, oh, what do I do next? So it's fine. So there, she's gonna look like she maybe has devil horns too. But I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna finish this off, and I could also like later go back to it and see what I can do. So for now, I think we're just going to see if we can finish this. I was gonna just try to attach it to the ends, but now that might not work with this style. So let's just, okay, let's just finish the horns, see what we can do, and go from there. So I'm gonna bring that one around, and this one, we're gonna go that way, straighten that out a little bit, pull that out, and around. So these are at least looking somewhat like horns. Bring that one out and that one in. The The fact that it has thicker wire, it's a little better. Um, the thin the thin coiled wire just didn't look right to me. Uh, there's Sun, funny little Viking theme. There you go. <laughs> So yeah, she's a Viking. It's We're not doing Taurus anymore, guys. We're doing Vikings. There we go. And now this should go kind of behind. These are way too long now. So I think I can probably trim these a bit. Uh, the hard part is going to be knowing how to attach it. So let's put these on her here. And... 
I guess what I would do is just attach it to her hair. Like that should hold in place. That should hold in place. Mm. I could do that. I can just do a little bend here and attach it onto some of her hair. And then this one too, a little bend here and see if we could figure out where we can attach this. So if we stick this in her hair and we just stick it here, this would be nice though if it was behind, but that we can do, that we can do, because this is kind of behind. So we're just going to push this, wait, let's just push this one forward a bit, that one forward a bit, and stick that one in here, and that one in here, but then this one behind, okay, so it's hidden, it's not too bad. And now we're just going to attach these and I can always adjust them after. So hold it in place, take your, no, take your needle nose pliers and clip it a little bit. Bring this one up and clip it. So pinch and clip. And then this one, make sure it's sort of in a decent position too. Now it's a little high because they should be, it's coming more out of her hair than out of her head. So let's try to wiggle that one down a little bit. Okay, bring this one over. Get this one right over, it's a little tricky. Bring it down a bit, yeah, it was too high, so now Oh, in fact, I should have brought it closer to her head, probably. But I think just for the sake of finishing it up, we're just going to do it here. I probably should have attached it closer to her head, but it's fine. So we're going to do that. Give that one a little clip. Bring this one around. And give that one a little clip here. Okay, so, uh, Sharon, gotta go. Thanks for hanging on, hanging on and out for so long, Sharon. Uh, I don't usually go this long, but I wanted to give this one a try. So actually, this one was for Amanda, and she disappeared. So she can watch the, uh, she can watch the replay. Understandable. She has two very young children. Uh, one of which is a newborn baby, practically. So now we are going to uh, maybe clip that a little bit more and then pinch it a little bit more to get it to hold in place. I like these much better than the coils. So pinch it, and then this one, we're going to pinch it. And after this, I have to get back to work because I have some orders for... Uh, a wedding cake toppers that I have to work on so I will do this after I will also post a picture of this in the discord group um, she is funky funky I like her but let's just fix her horns a little bit maybe push them out a bit or something I'm not quite sure but considering I didn't think I would get horns on her at all she's not too bad so there's our little Viking tourist lady whoo guys I am pooped. There we go. Now they look like horns. So let's have a look at everything we did. So we did our little our little Viking girl who was supposed to be a Taurus girl. We did our really funky bull with the jump ring. Uh, we did this nice stylized bull face, which is really cool. We did our jumping bull. We did a lot, guys. Uh, we did this little cute little flattened pendant, which is adorable and the ring, which is super fun. So let me, I'm gonna bring this my thing a little closer so you can see them. Can you guys see them? Let me just, here, move this. I'm gonna remove the clip and bring this closer so you can see the work. And let me know which is your favorites in the comments. And that was really fun. Thank you guys for your ideas. Half devil, half Viking, and 0% Taurus. Yes, awesome. <laughs> I love it. That's so fun. And I am going to flip my screen around to say goodbye, and then I will take a picture and put it in the Discord group. So let me flip the screen. There we go. 
Whee! Perfect. Oh, my cupboard's open. There we go. Mm -hmm. So thank you guys so much for hopping on. For some reason, I'm not seeing the comments on my iPod. Oh, there we go. The second from the left is Remarkable. That's the one with the gold bullhead. Yeah, I like that one a lot. That's the one where I drew all the arrows on them. That worked really well, really well as well. So yeah, thank you, Taurus. To the left, to the girl. Yes, yes, yeah. Oh, to the left. Left, right. Yeah, I think it's the, if it's the gold one, I think that's the left one. See, I don't know how you see it on your on your end. So um, perfect. So thank you guys so much for hopping on. Be sure to watch the premiere of episode three of Live Wires for the Wind tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, so exciting. We're having so much fun on the challenge. You guys are making amazing stuff. And if you're following, uh, join the Live Wires for the Win Facebook group and you guys can participate. You can, if you make all eight of the weekly challenges, uh, your name will be entered to, in a draw, a random draw, to win a um, all kinds of prizes from Beadalon, from my Etsy shop, all kinds of stuff too. So the first one, nice. Flat one. Yeah, the flat one's cool, eh? I really like that one. Yes, don't forget to subscribe for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Thank you, Mustafa and uh, Amber, who was here earlier for helping to um, moderate the chat all the time. I really appreciate it. I uh, didn't have my computer today, but it worked out pretty well. I just had to film on my iPod, so that's not too bad. And yeah, thank you guys so much. And we will see you tomorrow night on Live Wires for the Win and see you in the Facebook group, The Wire Makers Club. Bye, guys.